Okay, so I have an 1834 large scent to add to my large scent album. Super excited because it actually finishes an entire page of large scents. So uh, this coin is pretty decent coin. It's got some great detail to it. It is suffering from what appears to be corrosion on both the front and the back of the coin, but that's okay. It's still loaded with detail. I didn't pay very much money for it. And this is what the majority of my large scent coins look like. Now I have some really nice high-end large scent coins and some really nice graded ones and some really nice uh, ones in here, which I'll show you when, we're, when we pop this thing in. But uh, honestly, large, this type of coin, the large scent, it's such a cool coin that you guys don't need to spend a whole lot of money to make a, to get a really cool album, to get a lot of personal satisfaction and pleasure out of putting together an album. This is just a cool coin. It doesn't matter even if you just buy one of these coins. If you spend 20 bucks on, on it and it comes just like this, this is really cool, even with the corrosion and all of the little imperfections. The uh, fantastic thing about these large scents, um, they really seem like they stand the test of time because many of them are in you know, decent condition like this and you can score them for $20, $15, $15 uh, maybe as high as $25, $30, um, depending on the date. So let's pop this thing in here, and I'm gonna pull the little, uh, put that down. There we go, 1834. Just seats right in there, and we will shut this. All right. So let me show you, starting on page one, how far I've come with this album. I'm missing a lot of the early ones. I have this one, and I will replace that one with one. I have one that has a ton of detail, but it's graded, and I don't want to crack it out of the slab. So I will replace that. For now, that is just a placeholder. It's a damaged coal coin. The back is perfect on it. And then on this page, I have the, I have an 1816 and 1818, 1820, 1822, 1824. So that will be my next page I start working on. And then on this page, which is now completely done, I have the, uh, let's get this to where I can hold on to it a little better. I have the, gosh, when you open this, it's really hard to hold on to. I have the 1826, 1827, 28, 29, 30, 34, 32, 33, that's a pretty nice one. You make out a lot of detail on that one, along with the one above it, but much more on this one. That's not a bad one either. That's the one I just popped in, I believe. 35. 2 so some of these are actually pretty nice. Considering their age, um, now this is where you get into the higher end ones because obviously these are the younger coins. I hate when my phone doesn't focus. Here we go, 1842, 43, 44. See that one's a really high-end one. Very, very nice coin there. And so is that one. Beautiful brown. And I need this one. This is a key date in this series. It's kind of pricey, so 
I will end up getting that sooner or later. But uh, yeah, this is a fun album to put together and it doesn't matter how good of quality the coins are. I would say that if the coins have holes in them or they're severely damaged, yeah, that's going to, that's, that's probably not good. Uh, that's not, that wouldn't be pleasurable for me. Or if the coins are so worn, you can't make out any detail. For me, the minimum is you have to be able to read all the words and you have to be able to make out the date. And usually, if those two components are true, then the other features of the coin are going to be pretty highly visible. So uh, you can see all of the features on my coins are pretty highly visible. So they may not be great detail, but the features overall are there. With the exception of maybe this one, this 1820 coin. It's probably the worst coin that I have in this entire book, other than the cold coin. But uh, anyway, this is a fun album to get put together, even if um, you ha only have a budget of $20 to $40 per coin. You can easily put this uh, album together with time and get a lot of pleasure out of doing so because there's just something about the large sense that makes people say, wow, when they open this album up and they see all the coins. Uh, even your experienced coin collector. Uh, it doesn't matter what quality they are in. Um, as long as you can make out what they are, people, there's just a lot of pleasure in building this type of an album. All right, you guys, I got to put my Sacagawea dollars into the pages. Uh, I got a bunch of them here, and uh, I'm going to do that. Have a good day, good weekend, good evening, good morning. Take care.